begun to see both from uh, President Biden and from some members of Congress that there is interest in a ceasefire or a pause in operations uh, in Gaza to allow some humanitarian aid to get through. Does the Secretary think that a ceasefire or a pause would also be beneficial at this point, and is he communicating that to his Israeli counterparts? Yeah, so a, a couple things there. Uh, as it relates to a ceasefire, I, I think uh, you've heard the White House speak to this as well. Um, we, we do not support a ceasefire in that that gives time for Hamas to regroup, uh, which is uh, something that, again, would put uh, Israeli citizens uh, and others in danger. Um, you have heard, however, the president say uh, that uh, the U.S. government does support humanitarian pauses to enable humanitarian aid to get in for hostage, uh, hostages to get out, uh, as well as other citizens. So uh, in the secretary's discussion with his counterparts, uh, as I mentioned at the top, the, the discussion of ensuring that Palestinian civilians, Gazans, innocent uh, civilians in Gaza are able to get humanitarian assistance, whether that be water, fuel, medical aid, uh, that continues to be something uh, that we continue to emphasize regularly. So the Secretary is advocating for potentially a humanitarian pause, as the White House has suggested? So, so again, uh, I'd refer you to the White House to talk broadly. The DOD focus, again, our focus is on the things that I highlighted at the top, which is uh, deterring a broader conflict, ensuring force protection, and also ensuring that Israel has what it needs to defend itself.